again with, well, not a gaming video, but let's say a spiritual successor to a video I made many, many moons ago. It was titled, Which Game Should I Play Next? And, oh Jesus. That video was rather successful. In fact, it was essentially the paving way for the rest of the channel as, oh Jesus, the channel wouldn't be what it is today without that singular video. I figured, well, now that I've finished the great journey that is Resident Evil 7, I would make another list and let you decide for me once again what I should be playing next because I'm overwhelmed with decisions and, well, oh Jesus, let's just say that I could really use your input. Oh Jesus, I've got quite the extensive list for you today. As you can see, I have several hundred tabs open. Don't worry, some of them are a list of a series of games, so don't be, uh, you know, don't be too dissuaded by the sheer number of, op uh, of, uh, of options I've given before you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Firstly, I want a list of requirements. For you! Yes, you! You are just as much a part of this channel as I am, pal. So, you better strap in, because what you're about to hear, you may not like it, but you're gonna have to do it anyways. I'm gonna need an extensive... Uh, response to this video because, oh Jesus, simply saying yes or no isn't going to give me enough information to produce the content that you wish to see, so, oh Jesus, the, the better the comprehensive list of your own thought process of this video, the better I can produce content for you people. With that said, let's get started with the list. I have this amazing list of games, and, of course, after I finish Resident Evil 7, I of course thought of its original predecessor, Residents of Evil. Developed by Poison Games, the creators behind Slender Man Must Die, Slender Clown, Colin, Be Afraid of It, and of course, Jeff the Killer, Horrendous Smile. Oh Jesus, this game has a pretty extensive campaign, not quite the length and, and dare I say, boringness of Resident Evil 7, but with just as much scare factor. In fact, definitely more. And oh Jesus, a riveting story. This had to be a contender for my list as, I mean, oh Jesus. I would, I would be morose if I was to play Resident Evil 7 and not play the original spawn that's paved the way for the horror genre, really. Oh Jesus. That is the first option on the list. Next up, we have Son of Men Must Die, Chapter 3, Silent Forest. Now, you're wondering, skip the gaming? First you play Son of Man Must Die, then you play Son of Man Must Die, Chapter 5? What the fuck? Look. And now it's Chapter 3. I'm gonna, let me explain, alright? Just give me, a, just give me a second to explain, okay? The creators of these games, Poison Games, by far the best studio in the industry today. They made this game, and they released it out of order. Now, at first, I, I thought this was a this was an oversight on their part because why would they release a game that's it's not, it's out of order? Realistically, it should go one, two, three, four, and then whatever number they end on. But instead, the, the story order and the release order is very different. A parallel, or I say a parallel, these guys. This came out first. Uh, Thunder Man Must Die came out first, but. A famous movie franchise by the name of Star Wars uh, mimicked this format in a very similar way. In releasing the episode numbers out of order, um, and uh, the chronological story order is outside of the numerical order. And it's the very same way with this. This was the originator of that very same philosophy of uh, releasing content. The spiritual and chronological successor to Son of Man Must Die 5 is Son of Man Must Die Chapter 3 Silent Forest. Right? I I know of the story of these games, but I don't know them too extensively, so don't be don't be worried. I'm not gonna go into this game not getting scared because oh jeez that's I mean, how can I not? I did Sunday Must Die I played a million times and oh, even thinking about it, I'm just shivering. But just don't be alarmed. Even though numerically they're out of order, this is how the story progresses. First, we go to the abandoned building. Then, in Thunder Man Must Die 5, right? 
he transforms that into the underground bunker. We defeat him there, and as we're leaving the bunker, we go into the forest. Which is where this game picks up at. Right? Starting to make sense? I hope it is. Which, of course, means next up, we have Son of Man Must Die, Chapter 6, Industrial Waste. This is a adjacent benefactor to the to the underground bunker. So we leave the underground bunker, we meet Slender Man in the forest, and we continue on into the old defunct industrial waste complex that is adjacent to the underground bunker but not directly connected. We're not quite out of the we're not quite out of the woods just yet when we play this game. Which means that next up Slender Man Must Die, Chapter 4, The Silent Streets. The industrial waste complex is next to the city, which is why this game takes place in the city. We wander the silent streets, hoping not to get captured by Slender Man once again. Next up, The Slender Man Must Die, Chapter 2. Slender Man Must Die, Dead Space. Right? And, look, this is quite the leap. It's quite the leap from a city block to space? What the hell is that? Don't worry. Don't worry. The reason this game takes place in space is because after the fear induced in the city streets, we uh, seek refuge in the cold heart of the great beyond of space. But not even there can we be safe. In which case, since we're not safe, we go back to Earth. One final time, with the Slender Man Must Die, Chapter 7, The Abandoned Graveyard. You see, this is the finale, as far as I know. And, after space, he seems to be dead. I mean, if we're going all the way from space back to Earth, of course that would kill him, right? <sighs> Not quite. He's supposedly dead, but at the abandoned graveyard, we need to make sure of it. This, I believe, is the, f is the finale that ends Slender Man. Which is why Slender Man Must Die Chapter 7 is not only the last numerical release, but also the last narrative release. But that is this, that is the Slender Man Must Die. Oh, Jesus. What's, what number is 7? What? Uh, not Octology. One less than that. Not Pentology. That's 5. I don't know what 7 is, but whatever ology it is, that's what this is. So this entire series is a. Uh, I picture this as one bracket. It would be a, a linear. It would be a linear playthrough of all the games. Oh Jesus! Now, before you start conjuring up your own recommendation in your head, please just know I am at risk here. Okay? You saw what happened with Slender Man Must Die. Get the killer her to smile. Slender Man versus Freddy the Fat. I can't fucking stay on this shivering. This might take too much of a. This might be a too large of a toll for me to pay, but I'm willing to go through it for you. <sighs> oh Jesus! Next up, we have Hotel Six. 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 Now, I mean, just, just look at the damn title. Just look at the goddamn title. Jesus! It, it is abundantly clear that this is this will be one of the scariest games ever made. It. Oh Jesus! I'm starting, I'm starting to regret making this list, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is just too goddamn scary. I can't even think of the damn titles. Oh god damn it! I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to fucking push through. Hotel 666. Six, six. I, I don't know anything about the plot. I don't know anything about anything. I don't even know who published this damn game. But the only thing I know is that it's goddamn terrifying. Next up, we have Let's Kill Jeff the Killer, Chapter Four: Just Revenge. Now, Jeff the, Let's Kill Jeff the Killer has many chapters. I haven't done much research uh, on this series of video games, but um, this would follow the same format as Slender Man Must Die. I would play through all of them. So, it says chapter 4 right here. Don't worry, I would... Uh, I would play through all of them. So, um, it's just... Oh, my Jesus. I can barely muster up the courage to pull up this image right here, so... Please excuse me for not having all of the images for all of the games. I don't even know how many there are. Oh, Jesus. Let's hope it's not as big as the number is. Goddamn, seven. If you look at the number seven the right way, it, it makes an infinity symbol. I hope you know that. Next up, we have V-I-I, -I, period.
Good eye, period. Age. Resident Evil. M. Oh, oh, it says village! It says village! God damn it. I knew that before I even started this video. It just confused the shit out of me. Um, this is the spiritual successor to Resident Evil 7. Very recently released. In the, in the last month, I believe. And I actually own the game. And I feel like it would be quite the playthrough. But, ah, Jesus. Considering that it's a spiritual successor to Resident Evil 7, I, I really hope the boredom factor doesn't kick in because, oh, god damn. Resident Evil 7 was just the longest game ever. <laughs> but, if you'd like to see me play this game, make sure to, make sure to, make sure to contemplate it in the recommendation. Next up, we have Payday 2. Now, might be saying, Skip for Gaming, you're a goddamn idiot. You've already played Payday 2, you stupid bitch. And, l listen, 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 listen. I'm not saying you're wrong, but what I am saying is Payday 2 has a lot more to offer than what I've already played. I've already played the game twice now, and it has been two very unique trials, but the game has so much more than the two heights that I played. This game has a lot of options, and I feel like it could be for a good experience once again. But of course, that's entirely up to you. Next up, we have Resident Evil 2. You see, this is how you make a title, ladies and gentlemen. I had no problem reading that. God damn. This, of course, is the rip-off successor of Residents of Evil. It's quite the drama in the creation of these games, because Residents of Evil was created by the best video game publishing studio out there, Poison Games, as we all know. But a company called Capcom made the rest of them. And I played... I, I know Poison Games' track record. They have been nothing but satisfactory. In fact, exceedingly satisfactory, but also traumatizing. But, you know what? What is life without trials that put you through the toughest of battles? Alright, ladies and gentlemen? So I forgive them, because they've made me a better person by playing those games. Without having endured those almost sickening, oh, Jesus, trials. I, I just... I'm not sure that I would be able to face the real world. But anyways, that's besides the point. Point is, this is another game. And I heard that it's also pretty scary, but that's when I also heard about Resident Evil 7, and... Oh, Jesus. But, this game is on the roster, I do own it. And, well, considering that it is of the style of Resident Evil 7, if you enjoyed that playthrough, you would likely enjoy this as well as Resident Evil Village. Next up, we have Resident Evil 3. Back into the demo. Oh, I must have plucked the wrong image. I mean the full version. I wouldn't be playing just a stupid demo. Um, the, the same thing goes for Resident Evil 2, made by the same people. Uh, it, it, it plays the same way. It, you know, it, it, you, you, you get the gist, right? This is just another game. It's a sequel. Next. We yeah. have... Boop. What is that, an upside down Y? Oh, it's supposed to be an A. Black Mesa. Definitive edition. Now this game, oh Jesus. It's not a horror game. It's not made by Capcom. It's made by Valve. Now this game is related to the late, great Hunt Down the Freeman. Sadly, my PC just refuses to play the legendary game that is Hunt Down the Freeman, but I, I wouldn't be playing that game anyways. I know that game like the back of my hand. It wouldn't be for a very good experience. It would essentially just be a history lesson or something. The whole time. There's nothing for me to learn. The only thing I can do is teach you, and uh, I don't find that would be very interesting. So, that game, sadly, is off the roster. But this game isn't. This game is directly related to Hunt Down the Freeman. And I find that it could be a very fun experience. Because it, it, it has a bunch of different styles, and... and it's got a bunch of stuff going for it. So I feel like this could be a pretty fun playthrough if I was to play it. Except, we have Half-Life 2. Directly related to Black Mesa. Direct sequel to Black Mesa. Right? They also made the mistake of putting that strange symbol. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's just Half-Life Squared. Shit. Okay, never mind. I'm not, uh, I'm not up to date on my math. Numerical symbols, okay? Anyways. Um, this same rules apply from Black Mesa to this. It is the exact same thing. Um, except this game is much longer. This game is much longer than Black Mesa. 
obviously, a lot of the games on this list would be multi-part playthroughs like Resident Evil 7. If you hated the format of Resident Evil 7 playthrough, then you're not going to like any of these, because these are going to follow the exact same format. Next up, we have, let me zoom in on this, Cry of Fear. This is a returning champion, champion from the previous list. Reason being, I have faith in this game. I have faith in this game. I heard there was possibly one of the scariest games ever made. Right? But, again, it is quite long. It's quite long. It, it will follow the same format as Resident Evil 7. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really say. That's all I can really say about this game. Right? But if you want to know more about it, go to the last video and stick to the bracket where this was. Next up, Five Nights at Old Toy Factory 2020. This is the spawning seed that germinated into Five Nights at Freddy's. I was blissfully unaware that Five Nights at Freddy's was a mere shell of its original creator, Five Nights at Old Toy Factory. This is a remaster, that's why that's 2020, so it's just uh, improving the graphics, but I've seen the original. It didn't need it. It was desperately in need of nothing other than publicity. So this game, I'm going to say it once again, quite possibly one of the scariest games ever made. Do you want to guess who developed this game? That's right, Poison Games. So no doubt it's going to be a horrifying, but a learning experience. Now ladies and gentlemen, as you can clearly see, a lot of research was done to compile this list. Believe me, I didn't just scoff and brush dirt off my shoulder when making this list. I didn't just pull these names out of my ass, alright? These games had to earn their spot on this list. The extensive research that me and my team, my team being me and only me, but whatever. I might as well be a team of people. I mean, have you seen the skits? Jesus. Anyways. While compiling my research and my, and my and my data data, however you like to say it, for this game, for these games, my bad. Oh Jesus! <sighs> Blissfully unaware does not properly describe my mindset when I discovered the newest installment of Poison Games roster. I'm stalling just by speaking of this. I this game is the culmination of decades of, of conflict. It is the sum total of every human effort that has ever been put towards anything positive. This game, based off the title alone, is earth-shattering, and I, I'm going to say it right now, it is not survivable. Not for playing potential, not for viewing potential. I had to hook myself up to an IV and get a goddamn chest compressor exclusively to keep myself alive after I discovered this next game. It... Jesus. When I say this has potential, to be the single scariest piece of fiction, nay, piece of reality, ever conceived by any deity, benevolent or malevolent alike, I mean it. This, I know nothing of this game, let me tell you, other than the title, and I've seen like one or two pictures, but oh my, the promise that it makes, no degree of unfulfillment of their promise could be underwhelming. Exclusively due to the, the sheer magnitude of the promise that they've made with just the title alone. I'm unsure of how best I can sing this game's just, just sheer power. I can only resonate a fraction of what this next game could possibly be. 
I'm not even ready to press the button to pull up the picture. God damn it, I have to do it. Jesus, I gotta take a sip of water. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I don't blame you if you've turned your head away from the screen to avoid looking at this. Jeff the Killer. Slenderman Betrayal! I, uh, I gotta take another sip of water! I gotta take my goddamn med- I gotta take my fucking medicine! Oh my god! I can't even- I can't even bear to look at it! I gotta pull up one of the other images! Oh my god! I- uh, I'm just gonna look away! I'm just gonna look away! I need this image to be up! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen! Take enough? Oh yes I did. Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Lord Almighty. Give me strength. I don't even need to explain this. I don't even need to explain this. Uh, this is a rivalry that is unmatched. I, I, I dreamed of something. This. This. Powerful. In, in, but uh, I just in the realm of imagination is only where a game like this could exist. But then here it is. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. This. It, I was going to say it was, it's going to make or break me, but it's going to break me. There's more ways to break a man other than disappointment. There's horror. There's fulfillment. But there's also the fact that... What if... What if I play this game, everything else is just a big fat letdown? I mean, Jesus! Oh, God damn. This is real, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't something I fabricated. This is... This is... Legitimate. Poison Games has unleashed their holy weapon and developed this game. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Slenderman must die in a fucking pansy compared to this shit. I just... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I... The picture speaks for itself. It's just a title card. That's all it is. It's the definition of a title card. It's putting me and uh, I guarantee it's putting you through quite the emotional distress. But there's a reason that this is the last game. I, I saved the best for last. This game is is the answer. I just this, this is what I've been working towards and I didn't even know it. But I'm leaving it up to you to determine when or if. I even play this. The only thing I recommend is that you have mercy. Make a decision in both of our best interests. That's all I have to say. Oh, god damn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the burden of this decision, I'm leaving it to you. I've made it abundantly clear that this is just too much. And if I can't handle it, I... I didn't even think of such a thing. You probably can't handle it either. I'm a seasoned veteran. You're an innocent civilian. Oh, God. Hopefully my description has managed to tone down the sheer magnitude of this release. Ladies and gentlemen, put much thought into your decision as there's no turning back after this. Unless I also mention if you have a recommendation of your own that isn't on this list, be free to put it in the comment section. I don't care what it is, how far out it is out there, 
there's no chance I can play something you want me to play if first you don't recommend it. I beg you, put much thought and effort into your decision. Please, make your response as long-winded as you can. It will be necessary. I need every inch of this highway that I can get because I've got too much gas in my car. I, I have faith in you. I know you understand. There won't be a skip for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize, but I just... I need to rest. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm running out of money to pay for my therapist! Ladies and gentlemen, that, that's all I have for you today. Uh, just... Be safe. Make your decision. I'll check back up on this video tomorrow and see what the decision is. If it's a matter about likes, every recommendation will be taken into consideration regardless of interaction. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. May God's strength be with us.